Hi guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Okay. Uh, till now we have discussed multiple ETL testing interview questions. Today we are going to discuss most common interview question. Okay. See, uh, whenever we see interview, right? This is the question which they are going to ask you. Okay. Write down the SQL query to get the second minimum salary from employee. Okay. Let's do it minimum as well as maximum salary from employee table. Let's see here data. Okay. See here, if you understand this, right? Employee ID, department ID, and salary. Okay. What is the second minimum salary here? What is the second minimum salary? If you see, okay, second minimum salary is 30,000. Okay, second minimum salary is 30,000. First, let's create the data. Let's create the data and we'll execute one by one. How many approaches which we are going to take? There are two ways which we can do that. One is subquery, another one, dense rank. Another one is dense rank. First, we'll go ahead and we'll do the same thing. Okay, we'll do the Subquery first, later point of time, we'll go with the dense rank. I already explained dense rank multiple times with the nth highest salary, which is already available in the channel. Please go through it, but still I can go ahead and I can explain now. Okay. Let me create the tables and then we'll see second minimum salary as well as maximum salary using subquery as well as dense rank. Let me create the table. Here we are creating the tables with three columns, employee ID, department ID, and salary. Three columns. Okay, unnecessarily, I don't want to keep any names and other things. Okay, just I'm going to and I'm doing this. Okay. Table is, just give me one sec, it is going to take time. Table is being created, okay. Table is created. Now let's insert the data. Using insert or we are inserting at a time everything. Okay. At a time everything we are inserting. See multiple records we are inserting using insert or. Okay. How many rows are inserted? Seven rows are inserted. Now let's query the data. Select star from select star from EMP with salary. Okay. This table just query the data. Okay. How many rows are there? Overall seven rows are there with two different departments. Now we'll go ahead and do the first, second minimum salary. How can we do that first? Okay. See, whenever you wanted to get the minimum, right? We do have an aggregate function that is called min function, min function. And if you wanted to get, okay, first we'll go with the min function. Select min, min of salary, okay, min of salary from from EMP underscore salary table. Okay. If you do this, okay, what is going to happen? It is going to pull the minimum salary. It is going to pull the minimum salary. Minimum salary. Okay. Now, now if you wanted to get, if you wanted to get here, okay, what is the second minimum salary? 20,000 is the second minimum salary. Okay. 20,000 is the second minimum salary. Now, let's see here. Okay, see, first you identify this, you identify this, okay, first minimum salary. If I say this way, okay, where salary, okay, not in, okay, salary not in 10,000, okay, salary not in 10,000. Next, what is going to come? What is going to come? It is going to exclude the, exclude the 10,000, 10,000. Next, what is the minimum salary? Next minimum salary? 20,000, 20,000. See, we can't go ahead and do like this. Okay, if the values are changing at table level, every time if you can go ahead and identify this and getting this, it's quite difficult, quite difficult. Instead of that, instead of that, whatever the query which we have executed here, right? Can we write it up inside another query? Okay, first execute this, okay? Execute this, we are getting 10,000, okay? Can I go ahead and say that this this in this output will come as an input for outer query? Okay, subquery is a query. Okay, subquery is a query. Okay, which is having two things. Okay, inner query. Okay, as well as outer query. Outer query. Okay, here we are writing very simple subquery. Okay, simple subquery. 
what we are doing here just simply sub query we are doing it that is the reason what is the happening post inner query executes okay here we are going to do inner query executing then whatever the output which we are seeing right that output what we are taking we are saying that boss exclude the first minimum salary get me the second minimum salary second minimum salary let's see here what is the second minimum salary 20000 can we go ahead and see that what is the second minimum salary first 1 lakh 120 150 10000 20000 30000 50000 okay same similar thing here you can see 20000 is the second minimum salary this is the way you can do the second minimum salary now, if you go with the dense rank, okay, dense rank, what is the approach which you are going to take? Select, se select, start from, select, start from, okay, and then select, select, what are the details you want? Employee ID, okay, employee ID, department ID, NEPT ID, okay, then salary okay then dense and dense and it is the article function what it does use using over clause you are ordering order by salary okay order by salary if you leave it as this it is going to take by default ascending order you are keeping alias column name alias column name here okay from emp table emp underscore salary table emp underscore salary table okay you are keeping alias same for in line view where salary equals to two okay where salary equals to two can we see here can we see here this is the way we are going to get this is the way we are going to get the second minimum salary second minimum salary if suppose you wanted to get second maximum salary how can we do that like min okay we do have a we do have a max as well max function as well okay instead of min function you have to same logic okay same logic everything same okay here you have to use the max function here also you have to use the max function automatically you are going to get the second maximum salary what is the second maximum salary here in the table one lakh twenty thousand second maximum salary what is that one lakh twenty thousand can we see the same thing with the dense rank? Okay, same logic. Okay, same logic. Here you are going to see, here you are going to change. Okay, ascending to descending order. Ascending to descending order. Here you can see, we can execute and we'll see. This is the way you can get the second minimum salary as well as maximum salary. Okay, how many solutions we have given? One two solutions which we have given one is sub query solution for minimum salary and max second minimum salary as well as maximum salary and another solution is dense rank is a analytical function dense rank is an analytical function okay this is the way you can explain them second minimum salary second maximum salary okay just go ahead and go ahead and practice this and i'm going to even place this particular code in the description box thank you guys thanks for your support i see a lot of subscription is happening thank you so much guys you guys are please comment and subscribe whenever you see this particular channel right and even you can forward and share with your friends so that it will reach more people see in the market people are struggling to get the proper interview questions okay we are providing in the channel please help them by sharing the info thank you guys and if you are looking for etl testing training with along with the bi training along with the bi testing please contact on below number whatever here you can see right you can contact on this number we are going to provide the project along with the along with the training okay in project we are going to explain in detail about how we are going to work in day to day in corporate thank you so much guys thanks for your support